Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and I know it's been a while since my last Honda Monkey video, but today I'm going to go through the removal of the stock air intake and installation of the custom Man in the Box air intake system upgrade for the new Honda Monkey. That should be a great improvement over the restrictive and monstrous existing intake system. And I'll also add that I've had the ECU flashed by DHM Motoring to retune it for both the Yoshimura exhaust and the Man in the Box air intake to make the most out of those mods from a power perspective as well as ensure that the bike doesn't run too lean and I'll have links to it and the air intake in the description box. And just before we get to the install, if you enjoy these videos and want to see more content, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell and like button as it really helps the channel out. Now just to quickly go over what you get in the Man in the Box Honda Monkey air intake system you get an air intake that's specifically made for this bike and not just a generic intake that'll fit like most others. And I'll also add here that the quality of the materials as well as the fit and finish seems fantastic for the price. You'll also notice that the silicon air intake runner is much larger than the stock one so it will allow a lot more air to flow through comfortably. And the additional mounting bracket that also comes with it has an additional bracket to secure the OEM intake sensor in place. The actual air filter itself is really the best feature though, as you can get it in a bunch of colours to match your bike, and it's got to be the coolest looking air filter I've ever seen. Apart from that, you also get a little crankcase breather filter, and of course all the clamps and screws you need to fit the system on. If you have a Honda Monkey service manual, you can also reference it for removing the stock air intake or refitting it back on if you want to return the bike back to stock at some point. You won't need all that many tools for this install, but you will need both 10mm and 7mm sockets, a smaller Phillips head screwdriver, both 3mm and 4mm Allen keys, and a 10mm and 8mm spanner will also come in handy. To start with, you'll first remove the stock air box covers on both sides of the bike that are each secured with a single screw, and just screw it counterclockwise to remove it. Then it's just a matter of wiggling the covers a little forward and then towards you until they snap out of their rubber grommet positioning mounts, and both sides are exactly the same. On the left side of the intake, you'll then remove the fuel breather hose followed by the crankcase breather hose and try not to yank them out, but rather just twist them slowly and pull them to prevent damaging the hoses. Next is disconnecting the air intake sensor and for that you simply press on the end of the securing clip and just pull it straight off. Then there's two mounting bolts that you'll need your 10mm socket and extender to remove them. And once again, it's just a standard counterclockwise direction to remove them. Back on the right side of the intake, you'll then release the spark plug lead from its guides, and then you'll need to loosen the air hose fastening screw before you can remove the existing air hose. And just a word of warning here, that little screw is really in tight, and it's really easy to strip the Phillips head. So I actually had to get in there off camera to finally get it off. But if I was to do it again, I'd hit it with some WD-40 first, and maybe even use a smaller Phillips head screwdriver. With the screw and clamp open, you can then wiggle the air hose up and off the throttle body. It is tight, but with a bit of pressure, it should come free. You'll then have a final 10mm bolt just above it, that you'll again break and turn it counterclockwise to remove. The final step for removal is to wiggle and push the airbox up and free off the rubber grommet holding it in place, and then just turn and twist the whole airbox free from the bike. Now you don't have to remove the rubber grommet bracket from the engine, but it really doesn't serve any more purpose with the new man in the box air intake, so I did remove it. There's two 10mm bolts in which you'll need a spanner to loosen them and then screw them out. Once you've got the bracket out, then you just have to make sure you replace the longer left side bolt back in place and torque it down.
Now the only thing we need from the old intake box is the air sensor probe. So you'll need to screw that off and then with the supplied smaller 3mm Allen key head bolts and nuts, screw it into the man in the box bracket using the 3mm Allen key and 8mm spanner. And you can have a look at the footage if you're a little unsure about how the sensor goes into the bracket. We'll then click the air sensor into place and using the provided slightly larger 4mm allen key and bolts, we'll screw the bracket into position on the frame of the bike. Now full disclosure, I actually initially had the tube the wrong way around here in the footage, as although it looks very similar and almost fits either way, it won't quite fit if you haven't got it the right way around. The best way you can tell is if the hose doesn't tuck up nicely under the fuel tank or tends to pop out and push up against it. But there's really only two ways it can go. So if your first attempt doesn't seem to fit cleanly, then just remove it, twist it around and you should be fine. But basically, you're just going to wriggle it through the cables and into position. Then slide your fastening clamps on both sides and use your 7mm socket and torque them down. You may need to play with it a bit to get it all nicely lined up, but once you do, it should really be a nice, perfect fit. Next you'll grab the included breather filter and twist and wiggle it onto the crankcase breather hose, which is the one that has a small metal fastening clip attached, so you shouldn't get the two hoses confused. You'll then need both the included black plastic washer and the final 4mm allen key bolt, then just slide them onto the filter's mounting hole Line it up with the bike's frame and simply use your allen key to secure it in place. The final step is installing the showpiece main air filter which is super easy. Just place the circular clamp over the back of the protruding round plastic of the filter, then plug the filter into place on the bracket and torque the clamp down with your 7mm socket and you're almost done. Then just tuck the fuel breather hose up under the tank and near the air filter and you're truly done. If this is your first time installing one, then a couple of hours is a reasonable time frame. But if I was to do it again, I'd say I could do it in about half an hour or so. I personally think it looks absolutely fantastic. And after I went for a long ride, I could hear a definite difference in the way the air is more aggressively sucked in, which also sounds fantastic. Now as I mentioned, you should really get a retuned ECU or have an aftermarket fuel controller if you're going to do this as it will make the bike run too lean on fuel if you don't. And you'll also need to put a few kilometers on the bike before it all relearns and retunes itself and starts running perfectly with the new air intake system. But I'd also love to hear what you guys think about it in the comments. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon. You